Hi. Hi. Our dog Shadow has been scratching a lot lately at his skin, and he's got these red spots developing. Okay. And um, those spots like smell bad. What do you think that is? All right. Um. Well, we'll let the vet figure that out. But if you all would like to write some information down about Shadow, I'll get a room ready, and then we'll get you set up. Hi, I'm Hi. Dr. Jumper. How are you doing today? Hi, nice to meet you. Um, so what's Shadow in here for today? It says he's been um, losing hair and uh, itching a lot. Yeah, he's been losing hair around his feet for quite some time now. It's probably been about six weeks. We thought it was something he had gotten into outside and had a allergic reaction to, but now it's starting to spread up to his elbows and get on his like chin and ears. Yeah, we like, tried to give him a bath to keep the spots clean, but we're not really sure that that's working. Okay, it could be a number of things. It could uh, possibly be um, fleas or it might be a case of mange. Um, I'd like to run a few tests if that's okay with you guys to determine that. Um, I'd like to do a skin scrape and take a few samples from the um, patches of hair loss areas um, to see if it's uh, mange. We'll see if there's a high population of that there. Um, I'd also like to do a DTM and see if that's uh, ringworm's a possible cause. Um, my vet tech Elizabeth will be in here shortly to bring him back and we'll do the test. Okay. Right. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Hey, I'm Elizabeth. I'm just going to take Shadow back and we're going to do the test and see how much he weighs. Okay. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Can you come help me hold the dog and get a weight on him? Sure. It says he weighs 38.4 pounds. Right. And then his temperature is 102.3. So normal temperature. Um, I'll hold him if you can go get the um, the slides and the blade and the hemostat. All right. We'll do the skin scrape and the DTM. All right. Looks like we could take maybe a sample from his ear and then also on his leg and his belly. Like that. There we go. Okay, that should be good for that. And then the DTM will just pull hair from those areas. Okay, great, we're done with them. Um, if you wanna take him back in the room, I'll go ahead and start setting those up and I'll let the owners know that it'll be ready in about 15 minutes. All right. Shadow's back. He did very well, and we're just going to wait on the test results. Great. How long will it take to get the test results back? The skin scrape will take about 10 minutes, and then the DTM, Dr. Jumper, will call you in about two weeks for that result. Okay. Okay. And how much did he weigh? Um, let me look in the chart. He weighed 38.4 pounds. Wow. wow five pounds? <laughs> well, give us just a few minutes, and we'll be in with your results. The skin results are back if you'd like to come and look at them. Okay, I'll be right there. What did you find? There are a lot of Demodex mange mites. Okay, well it sounds like he might have Demodex mange, so I'll prescribe, I'll take the chart, and um, I'll write up what he has and also the, the treatments we're going to do. Um, we're going to give him Ivermectin, uh, Clavamox for the secondary infection, uh, from all the scratching he did. And then we're also going to give him a medicated shampoo um, so he can be dipped in that um, to treat his wounds. So, all right, hey, I'm going to throw this away and get the medicine and I'll be ready shortly. Hi, uh, we got the test results back from the uh, skin scrape. Uh, the DTM is going to take about 14 weeks and I'll call you on the result of that. That's most likely going to be negative. I don't think ringworm <clears throat> is the cause of uh, his hair loss and skin lesions. Um, uh, he also, like looking at the really red spots and the sores that he scratched open, I think he has a secondary bacterial infection. So for I'd that, like I would like to give him Clavamox. Well. It's an antibiotic and it should um, knock out the infection. Um, I'd like to give him way. Ivermectin to treat the Demodex. Um, and also a dipping solution called Amitraz. It's uh, very strong. It's, um, it, it's 
better not to get it on your skin and to wear gloves with it and only do it about uh, once a week, um, no more than that. Um, let's see, I have handouts on Demodex mains that you guys can take a look at while you're waiting. Thank you. It explains a little bit more about it. Um, also, um, <laughs> sorry. Sorry, I just wanted to ask, while we were giving him a bath, like, and we were touching those areas for the mange, and the, like, the sore parts, mm -hmm. he, like, shied away and was, like, kind of aggressive towards us, like, snapped at us, and we were just wondering, like, how to deal with that and why that was happening. Um, he's doing that because, uh, it's really painful and irritating on his skin, and he doesn't, uh, mean to do that. He has, uh, a lot of, uh, sensitive, um, skin receptors called nociceptors. And uh, it's kind of a reflex that when you touch that and it hurts, he'll move away or possibly try nipping at you. But he doesn't mean that, he doesn't intentionally mean that. It's just or involuntary reflex. This shows the circuitry of the reflex the dog encounters when his owners touch his irritated skin. The nociceptors send a signal up to the central nervous system where it passes through the medulla oblongata, pons, hypothalamus, thalamus, and up to part of area 6 known as the primary somatosensory cortex. The signal then goes over to the decision area of the brain. This is where the decision is made to react. From there it goes back to the thalamus, then up to the supplementary motor area and the premotor cortex of area 6. Then it is sent into the motor cortex. This causes the movement of the skeletal muscles. The signal then goes back down through the thalamus, over to the cerebellum, and down the spinal cord. It then synapses on a motor neuron, and that is when the dog moves away and tries to bite. Um, do you guys have any more questions? So, is uh, Demodex contagious to people? Um, no, it's not. It's not something you have to worry about. The only uh, uh, mite that's contagious to people is sarcoptic mange, um, so there's nothing to worry about there. Um, is that everything? Any more questions? I think that's um, I'd like to do um, another skin scrape in two weeks and then an additional skin scrape two weeks after that to just double check and make sure the mange is um, decreasing on the skin and make sure the medication is working fine. Um, so the vet tech will schedule you for another appointment up front and she'll also go over the medications and how to use them and everything. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Have a good day. All right, I can check you all out now. Um, here are the medications that she prescribed Shadow. Um, this is the Clavamox antibiotic tablets, and this is the Amitraz dipping solution, and this is the Avermectin, and it um, lists what you have to do and how to prescribe it, and just make sure that you follow the instructions on that. Um, and we're supposed to set up another appointment for you. Is May 4th okay for you all? May 4th work for you? I think so. All right. All right. Um, what time do you all like? Let's do noon. Okay. All right. 12 noon on May 4th. All right. That sounds good. And your bill today is going to be 185. All right. Okay. Sounds good. Sounds great. All right. Well, have a nice day. Thank you.